Oh. I'm so nervous to try this. This is unrefrigerated from the dollar store. Oh. Hey cuties! <laughs> Welcome to Taste Test Tuesday. I am your host, Pig Sparkles. I encourage you guys to try something new today. It doesn't have to be food. It could literally be smelling a hydrangea. I don't even know how to say that. Let me do it with you. How to pronounce hydra hydrangea? Hydrin? Hydrin? No. <gasps> a plant. I know what it is, girl. Hydrangea. Hydra. What? Hydrangea. 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 <laughs> well, we learned how to pronounce something new and I'm gonna forget in an hour how to pronounce it. But if you're new here, hello. My name is Samantha Pig Sparkles and I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of our little team that we have going on here, the cutie army. My little cuties, mm, I wanna eat you all up. Just like I'm gonna do with all these little foods here. I chose my weirdest, oddest, grossest foods that I have in my taste test box. So, uh, I know you guys like the more gross things that I try and the more interesting things, so this is the taste test for you. And if you guys want to follow along, you can follow me on Snapchat here. I post snaps pretty much every single day. If you guys want to see what's going on behind the scenes, let's get into it. I am going to start with these. Ah! I don't know what to think of these. These are Oscar Mayer gummy hot dogs. Artificially flavored. Are they gonna smell and taste like a hot dog? I love hot dogs, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. These were kind of expensive because I got them at like a specialty store and I've never seen them before. This is what they look like. They are repulsive looking, but I am impulsive. Let's go. All right. I love that it's actually like Oscar Mayer, like brand. They look like, they look like, <laughs> any whore. I love hot dogs, but like a gummy hot dog? It's just gonna remind me of like bristle or something if it actually is. Come on. Whoa, did you see how that one moved? Ooh. Okay, they smell like strawberry. This is what they look like. They're, they're really like, moist looking and like, ah, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I guess this one wants to be tried. <laughs> what am I, seven years old? Like I'm like, hee 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 hee. I hate myself. This is what she looks like. It's very, very gummy. Okay, she's a strawberry gummy bear. It's actually pretty good. I don't really like gummy candies that much. I feel like I always say that and I'm like, mm, when I eat one. Hello, my name is Scamantha. Scamantha. <laughs> very sweet, sugary. It doesn't taste like hot dog at all. It's not even like a right, like I feel like hot dogs aren't flat here unless you cut them in half. I don't know, I feel like the idea, like $13 for this is like crazy. I wish they kind of had a hot dog flavor, to be honest, to make them like over the edge of something like different, but they are a really good gummy candy. They have a lot of chew to them, but they're not like super chewy. And yeah, they're yummy. So am I gonna eat these? No, but maybe Austin will, but I don't know. I feel like they're just like a whatever kind of purchase. Okay, next up are these egg yolk chips, salted egg yolk flavor. Um. Salted egg yolk. I mean, I like eggs. I eat eggs every week, but egg chips and egg yolk chips. Oh, they smell. Oh my God, they smell so good. Oh my God, they sm what do they smell like? They have like a, they kind of smell like a cupcake, to be honest, like they smell sweet. So that's what they look like. They're very soft. Like when they hit each other, they're like pillowies. Okay, I'm gonna get the wish chip here. Look at that, crunch. because I've been eating healthy. So when I'm trying, I'm just trying a little bit of each snack, by the way, I'm not like eating them all. So I am working them into what I'm eating right now. And it's fine, by the way, side note for everyone who's following along with my healthy lifestyle. Uh, oh my God, that was actually me trying to make a freaking muscle. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's how Delulu I am. These are so good. They taste like McDonald's fries. Like if they sprinkled a little bit of sugar, not like sugary, but like a little bit, like a little bit of sweetness, that's what these are. These are freaking good. Literally 11 out of 10, bye. Who would have thought? Me? Never. Okay, but do they taste like egg yolk? I don't think so. <laughs> They're like sugary. I don't know, I feel like I just get like the texture of egg yolk. I guess like if it's a hard boiled egg or like a fried egg, a runny yolk, rather than like 
I don't know, I'm thinking too much in depth of it. I just taste sweetness and they taste like McDonald's fries. Next in my box of goods is this pimple pop soda. If you've came from Snapchat, you would have already seen this and maybe that's why you're here. But literally look at this packaging, how disgust it looks. And it's literally called Gross Gusses Pimple Pop. And it just looks so atrocious. I love pimple popping, don't get me wrong, but something like this is horrific looking. And the fact that there's like stuff floating in it. It looks like you had like um like a sprite or something and then you popped a pimple, like a huge one, and then just like popped it in here and it I'm grossing myself out. Uh, say a little prayer. A little alligator thing. Oh my god. I don't even know. Is this good what is this gonna taste like? Pimples? Like oh my god. Mm. Whoa. That smells like legit a birthday cake. It tastes like or taste. I haven't, haven't tasted it yet. It smells like like literally funfetti, like Pillsbury funfetti icing. So let's give it a go. I'm freaking scared of this one. It's flat. It doesn't have any like fizz to it. I don't know if it's old. <laughs> the flavor's good. It it literally is like confetti icing. That's exactly what it is. It's it's good. It's not great. Like I wouldn't reach for this. I might actually, but just I feel like just the mental thing with looking at this and just knowing that is like eh, it's like off pudding to me. It tastes like pudding. It actually tastes like pudding. It tastes like um tapioca pudding. That's what this tastes like. This tastes that and like funfetti ish. Okay. All right. Okay, next up, I am going to be trying dollar store potato salad that doesn't need to be in the fridge. Okay, so basically you can see on here potato salad and this isn't a sticker on here So it's actually like for the dollar store. Yeah, what kind is it? It is ready to eat fork included Oh, I brought a fork. Okay, we'll use this product of Spain. Um, it's just ready to eat. Okay Oh, look at the little fork there. That's so cute. It says recycle. Okay, I will recycle it after I don't know what we're expecting. I'm like grossed out about this as soon as I saw it I was like I need to get that for a taste test. Oh, these cute little oh, look at this look at this look at and this is good for literally another year. And I bought this maybe two, three months ago. So that's what I'm freaked out about. I'm like, potato salad, shouldn't that be in the fridge? It, it literally doesn't say refrigerate. It was just sitting on the shelf. It says no need to refrigerate. To me, I'm like, hi chemicals. I don't know what I'm gonna look at here. I'm scared like something's gonna jump out, girl. Oh my God, this, there's no way. There's no way I'm trying that. That looks like actually puke. Oh my god, it smells like cat food! I think I'm in a gag. If you guys don't... There's no way. That literally looks like cat food. Is it not tuna? It's not tuna. Is it tuna? <laughs> Potato salad. What? This legit, look at right here. This part right here. You can't tell me that doesn't look like tuna. Like, look... That's literally like tuna and mayonnaise. This is just tuna. This is literally tuna. Oh my God, the mayonnaise is like congealed over here. I can't. Okay girl, I love tuna, but like already mixed with mayonnaise sitting on a shelf. If I get sick, oh my God, this is so disgusting right now. See, there's some potatoes in here. I feel like they should have said tuna on there because I feel like it doesn't say tuna. I'm gonna get everything in here. So I have a carrot. What is that, a jalapeno? Okay, there's jalapeno, carrot. It says there's peas, but I don't see a pea. Oh, I, no. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. That literally is not tuna. That is honestly cat food. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually so upset. Why? Ooh. Oh my god, I literally can't. I can't. <gasps> this, the taste is just lingering. I, I'm not being dramatic. That's so disgusting. The potato was really well cooked. And the sauce is like literally, it tastes like rancid. It tastes like, like after I eat like a bowl of mushroom soup and then if I were to like throw it up, that's exactly how I picture that tasting. <clears throat> like that is like the most sickest thing I've ever tried on a Taste Test Tuesday in my life. Disgusting. Like, like look at, I put the bottle cap in here. That wasn't in there already. But look at, I don't see any peas. I feel like it's like tuna salad. What? Oh, there's no one. And my dog right now, Cooper, he's like so excited to smell this. Like, you are a disgust mutt. <laughs> be gone, Satan of evil potato salad. Peace be with you. Okay, I need to eat something good right now. So um, I did include these because my friend actually got these for me. These are the most 
Oreo Supreme. These are cookies and cream flavor, and apparently they are like huge. So there's like Oreo Thins, Oreos, Double Stuff, um, Mega Stuff, and then the Most Stuff, which I had before. I think I did, a I did a TikTok showing like all the kinds of Oreos, and this one came out, and it's the Most Supreme, the Most Oreo Supreme. So let's go ahead and try this. Oh, they smell amazing. I knew that they would. Oh my God, look at how stuffed they are. Yum. This is so much better than disgusting ass fish salad that's been sitting out on a shelf and good for a year. Fish and mayonnaise together sitting out on a shelf for a year. No. Anyways, let's bask in this glory. I feel like I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Not me using this as a plate. What am I, disgust? Oh my god, that's literally like you took three Oreos together and put it all together. <laughs> highly recommend, <coughs> highly recommend. These are so freaking good, bye. <laughs> okay, next we are trying a craft beer lollipop. I saw this at a local store in my city and I was like, I have to get it. It was $5.50 for this. I think it's kind of expensive, but it is like, support local and all that jazz. So it says craft beer, it is non-alcoholic, so it's just like a simulation flavor or an artificial flavor, so it doesn't have any alcohol in it. I don't know if it's gonna taste like beer. Well, I don't know, like is it just, so it's the same thing as like the gummy hot dogs, like is it just the shape of a hot dog or is it gonna taste like, you know? That's what, that's why we're here. So, oh my god, there's more packaging and more packaging, girl. That potato salad was legit the most horrific thing I've ever had. On a taste test, I should say. Ooh. Anyway, we're past it, so why keep talking about it? <laughs> Me when I say I'm over something in life and then just keep talking about it. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm over it, but don't you think it's kind of funny that <laughs> this is literally, you need a degree to get into here. You have to go to a craft beer lollipop school or something? It just smells like caramel. <laughs> this taste test is not disgusting. Well, never mind. Some things were. This is what it looks like. Kind of suggestive. Suggest. I can't speak. Literally the rancid potato salad's going to my brain. Anyway, we're past it, so why keep talking about it? It's like honey. I thought it was gonna at least have like a simulation of beer flavor. It's like honey and caramel mix. Very sweet, kind of pointless. I'm like, oh, I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> Maybe it's for kids. I don't know, but, but what? A <laughs> bitch can't be for kids. Absolutely not. Like, what is this? Like, no, it's a no from me. I'm gonna have a beer lollipop. Like, nobody says that. Anyways, I bought it and I'm complaining. Okay, next we are going to try these. Look at how expensive these were. These are just a little bag of chips. These are truffle and black pepper. Truffle's a type of mushroom, I think. And I don't know which language this is. If you could let me know, that would be amazing. And look at how much they were. They were almost $8 for a bag of chips. So I was like, these must be either really good or just like really rare. Ooh. They look like sun chips. If you guys have sun chips, I, I don't know if that's just a Canadian thing. I don't know. Let's give it a go. I love truffle. I love black pepper. Whoa, whoa. It tastes like a very rich mushroom soup. After I eat like a bowl of mushroom soup and then if I were to like throw it up. Mm. And these aren't like sun chips. Just the shape of them are. They're very airy and light. They're almost like a, uh, what are those things called? Like a, a puffed rice almost texture. They're very, very like airy and light. Uh, very strong truffle flavor. These are amazing and delicious. They're super, super crunchy. Mm. You get that truffle flavor right off the bat. And there also is a really good salt on there too. Legit like nine out of 10. These are so good. Okay, now last but not least, we have some freeze dried candy. I don't know if I've ever tried freeze dried. Have I? Probably. <laughs> My brain's like, these are locally made. They are gummy swirl bears. Look at this. So gummy bears, like like I said, I'm not really a fan of like gummy candy. So let's see if it changes like the tech. It you can. They sound like like Legos or something like that, or building blocks. So I love that the texture is changed. Oh my god, they smell so good. I love that sound. Pink one. Wow, oh my God, the flavor of the gummy bear. Are they sour? They have like a little bit of a sour flavor. This is the best flavored item. Other than those egg yolk chips are freaking amazing. This is pretty good, yum. I can now enjoy gummy bears. Mmm. look at that. It's so satisfying. It's so like, 
light and bubbly inside, like air bubbles. I like those better than regular gummy bears, honestly. Okay, guys, that was my taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any like cool suggestions of things I should try, please let me know. A lot of you guys said to me that I should try the Grimace shake and it was only in the United States. So I live in Canada, they didn't have it here. Mm. But I probably would have died if I drank it anyway, because everyone died. So I'm not having Grimace's curse on me. Happy birthday, Grimace, in a good way. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Have a beautiful Tuesday, no matter what you're doing. Bye! Bye!